All right. So I'm Emily with Help Scout, and today I am talking to our CEO and co-founder Nick Francis about the value of doing things that scare you. Um, and this came up because uh, we use Know Your Company at Help Scout, and uh, that's a tool that um, allows you to regularly poll your team with different questions and kind of keep a finger on the pulse of your company. Would you say that's Accurate, yeah. That's great. Um, and, and one of the recent questions we polled everyone with was something like, what's one of the scariest things you've ever done? And Nick, you replied with raising money for Help Scout, right? Mm -hmm. Why was that so scary? Well, I think there's a lot about being an entrepreneur that's really scary. Maybe that's what attracts me to it because there's, there's a lot of unknown. And uh, for me, uh, the opportunity to learn new things at a high velocity is often very scary because there's, there's a lot of unknowns, you know, and, uh, with fundraising in particular, it's scary because you, um, because people are putting their, their confidence and trust in your ability to do something really hard and build a, a great company. Uh, not only are they putting their trust and confidence, but they're putting their capital into, into the business to try and um, get a return, you know? So it's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of pressure. And uh, I want nothing more than for those people to be successful and for their bet to have been right. And, uh, you know, I, much like any co-founder, I take this business very, it's very personal to me, you know? Uh, my personal kind of uh, confidence, my sometimes my well-being is completely wrapped up in the success of Help Scout. So uh, it's probably not the healthiest thing in the world, but it's part of being an entrepreneur. <laughs> <laughs> um, so why is it so scary for you to be responsible for someone's money? Like, you know, it's just a bet they placed and it's just business. Like if you fail, that's kind of how it goes sometimes, right? Like why, why is it personal to you? Uh, yeah. Cause the, the business is, is personal to me and, and I know these people, right? I've, I've built relationships with all of our investors uh, and I care deeply about all of them. I have a great relationship with, with, every investor all the way down the line from small investor to millions of dollars uh, from a, a venture firm. So these are real people that are putting real confidence and trust in my ability to, to build a company and our team's ability to create great products that, that people love. So uh, it's much like uh, hiring, you know, like when you hire someone, I feel deeply responsible for that person's, uh, happiness, at least their work-related happiness. I know that's a big part of it. And it's, it's scary to know that you're, you're responsible for the success or failure of, of something or someone. Uh, but at the same time, it's extremely rewarding. You know, and It's always high risk, high reward. And so when you can build something of substance that you're really proud of, that investors are proud of, that our team is proud of, then it's all worth it, you know? All that scary stuff is, is worth it. What, what did it take to, like, to get there? Like, what was it like in overcoming that fear and asking for that faith and trust? So most entrepreneurs aren't really short on confidence. Uh, some would say ego. I try to really keep that in check and be as self-aware as possible and always kind of be learning. But in the end, I believe in myself and my ability to, to do things well. And I know that I'm going to work really hard to, to try and make my partners successful, my team successful, my product successful. Uh, so that's completely worth it to me, you know, and I'm going to learn a lot along the way. I'm going to learn so many new things at a very high velocity that it's, it's just worth the risk to me. It's super exciting. Um, so 
while it's scary on one hand, extremely uh, exciting to the, to the extent that I can't wait to get to work every day when I wake up. And that's, I'm pretty lucky to be able to, to, to feel that, that way. What have you learned since doing that? Like what, what did you get out of uh, overcoming those fears that, that kept you up at night other than like millions of dollars? <laughs> What, what did you gain? Confidence in myself and uh, my ability to, so it's, it's always a ramp, right? So we, we raised like $400,000, then we raised another $400,000, then we raised $6 million. So uh, as the business continues to grow and we learn new things along the way, I'm, I'm building confidence in not only my ability to serve the company and the shareholders, but my team's ability to do really outstanding things. So uh, the learning and uh, is really key to just kind of building confidence and being willing to take on what you might perceive to be scary. Well, I've been through this three or four times now, right? So uh, I know it's scary, but I also know what's ahead. I have a good sense of what's ahead and, and what's expected of me. And so, Maybe it's a little bit less scary now. Cool. What would you, um, what do you take into it now um, besides confidence? Like um, if you had to do it again, what would you, what would you take with you from what you've learned before from facing that fear? What advice would you give to say a, a founder who's faced with having to raise money for the first time? Um, not to take it lightly. If you're not scared by raising money, that's a problem. I know a lot of CEOs that are not scared of raising money, and that's a problem. Why? Because it's a, it's a big responsibility. It's a huge responsibility, um, in my opinion, it, to, to make that individual or that organization successful uh, and earn a multiple on whatever money they're giving you. Uh, that's a... That's a that's a deeply important responsibility. And, and, you know, like I said, that's, it's the, the business is personal to me. It's connected to, to who I am. And so uh, making those people successful is, is really important. So you, you should be scared. I think it's a good thing to be scared by uh, things that are really hard and you should be giving a lot of thought to fundraising, whether it's right for your company. It's not right for most companies. So, um, yeah, I just, I think embrace the fear and uh, take, take with you some confidence and uh, some self-awareness and figure it out along the way. It's fun.